Welcome back guys. It's, today's another soap review and it's going to be Declaration Grooming After the Rain. It's a tiny, tiny sample here, but I like the, I like the artwork on a lot of their soaps, and I, the, especially the newer ones since they changed their labels. Uh, and I hadn't tried this one before. This is one of their first scents. I think it was the one of their first two or three scents that they came out with. So a lot of people have tried it, but some of you haven't. And I, I just figured, you know, since it's popular, I get my own thoughts on it. So sit tight. We'll get this one in the books. With regards to scent, this one, I don't normally, it smells a little aquatic to me. Um, I don't really like an aquatic scents very much, but this is different and I like it a little more than I think I would others. And uh, the scent notes given on the website are wet pine, which I don't know really how you replicate wet pine. If there's, a, if there's an oil out there that's called wet pine or if you have to manufacture it yourself. But it says white pine or wet pine, cedar, white pepper and something else i'll get back to you on that there's four notes listed on the site but uh it's actually quite good there's, there's a kind of a sharp that is like a peppery citrus on top that's what it reminds me of so it's a definitely has a kick to it um I would say it's mid, mid strong. Um, if you're sensitive to pepper, it might be a little, a little stronger to you. I'll give it about a seven on scent strength. Um, and it's about the same. Lathered as it is in the container. Um, I don't, you know, a lot of uh, declaration soaps, if you've tried them, they, they tend to change for better or for worse. You know, the last one I reviewed was a uh, Grush at League Square. I like the scent um, out of the container, but lathered, I did not like the, like the scent all that much. So this one's staying about the same, and I like that. It's not much of a surprise to me, um, like it, um, like they normally are. I can smell the pine now underneath. It kind of lurks underneath the pepper. If you're sensitive to pine, you might uh, pick it up more than I do. I think the pepper kind of dominates. The aquatic scent is probably indeed the pine that I'm smelling, wet pine, whatever that means. <laughs> I know that there, there are fragrances that are termed aquatic, but sometimes I use some sort of mixture of citrus and like jasmine or something like that. I don't know. It's not listed on the website and I don't know. I'm not great enough with uh, discerning scent notes to be able to tell you, to be able to di dissect what's not listed down for you. Hopefully in the future I get better at that. But I think this is good enough. Let's get this going. Trying something a little different today. This is my Minotaur handle, but it's got the Gillette, um, what's it called? Gillette Ball and Tech head there. So, with, with an Astro Green, with the green. I really like the Ball and Tech head, it's really good. Most blades work in it pretty well. This is about two days growth. Getting ahead of myself. I think this is performing better than it normally does for me. Declaration is pretty high up as far on the food chain. I mean, they're very popular. More, more premiumly priced than a lot than your average artisan. I think this one, I think their standard prices on just their regular scents that they have all, you know, year round, those are around uh, $18. And approximately four ounces of soap, so that's about um, four fifty an ounce, so it's, it's uh, Higher priced. They use a lot of ingredients though. They, they use a lot of good ingredients, high quality, so you're paying for, you know, what should be a better performing stuff. I'm just not as big on them as other guys are. I feel like uh, some other soaps that I use give me just as good as a shave, if not better. But you know, like I said, I've never tub, I've never tub loaded. Um, 
before, and I think this this lather is a lot better than it normally is. There's a good sheen to it, it's thicker, it's more like yogurt. So I think this is gonna be a much better shave than what I'm normally used to getting from Declaration. Gonna reapply and go for pass number two. See you in a bit. All right, I'm back. I looked up the scent note that I couldn't remember and it was muted lavender. And I also looked up what that means and I'm not sure. I just I got um, uh, answers about color, like purple. So um, all I think that it means is that the top, like the sharp top that lavender normally, normally yields is uh, cut off and you're left with the lavender base, which is why it's not very prominent in here. It's in the background blending with the pine. And now that I, um, my memory was um, refreshed, I, I can definitely sense it under there. But I think there's more pine and the, the, the pepper definitely covers it. So if you like lavender, um, you're not going to smell it too much, but it's there. Residual slickness is very good with this soap. You don't need me to tell me. You don't need me to tell you that unless you're just completely new and never heard of this soap before. But if you're here, you probably have. All right, going to rinse off, do a cleanup pass, and I'll be back with my final remarks. All right, shave's over. I'm feeling great. This is easily my best shave with Declaration. Um, I may have to rescore the base. Um, if you follow, if you follow me uh, scoring, you know the same type of soap several times, like. Uh, I think I've used Barrister Men's Glissant Base three or four times, and I I have not changed the Glissant score from the first time. I usually just, the only thing I adjust is scent, like scent strength stuff like that. Um, I think I'm going to have to re rescore uh, the base because I had a much better shave. My face feels great. Um, just the all around experience was better. I think I just dialed in the lather this time better than I have in the past. And look, I used a bit too much, and it didn't seem much to me, but. There's, enough, there's a whole other shade's worth of stuff in here. So it's an, it's an incredibly efficient soap. If not a tad soft for my taste, but yeah, just all around good. Uh, probably second best scent I've used besides from Bandwagon, but I had a better shade with this. Next to no burn at all. Um, one of the best shades I've had in a while. Just as good as any of my uh, Glissant, uh, Barrister Man Glissant shades that I've had recently. Um, so I finally had a good or a great shave with uh, Declaration Grooming. Um, Following up with some Aqua Velva, uh, uh, yeah, Ice Blue that you can just get from the store, but um, yeah, the scent is good. I don't, um, I don't love the scent, but it's good. I like it. It's probably one of the better. I would say it's just under a bandwagon for me. I like bandwagon pretty well. Thank you for watching. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. Comment below if you have anything to say. Until next time.